Oh, this episode's way too long. <laughs> Why did I make it this long? Okay, let's get rid of chapter three right here. Yeah, and this will finish up chapter three. Yeah, if I totally repeat myself. Like if Ozburgers or something. Yeah, no offense to people of Ozburgers, just you guys have a habit of repeating yourselves. You know, I can understand where you're coming from. Anyway, we have Rockhawk. Yes, sir. You know, our final match. Final, final match. Final match. Beat myself. Again and again. Hop on Yoshi. Hop on Yoshi. Hop on Yoshi. Oh, Yoshi, Yoshi, Yoshi. Grunt, grunt, grunt. Let's get that. Making a ceramic Normandy. Yeah, the, the first one, not the second one. The second one seems it'll be a lot harder to make, you know. I don't know. If it comes out good, I'll probably, I'll probably show you guys. Let's take some pictures and make a slideshow and put it on the YouTube channel. Is this guy coming at? Jeez, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I go inside. Do, 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 do. Okay. Walk in. Hello, dude. Where? Oh, wait, what? Well, normally, yeah. Normally, we go the other way. Guess we're going through the blue door in this time. Yay. I always want to go through the blue door. Yeah. Blue door, blue door, blue door, blue door, blue door. Blue door. Hey, hold it, matehead. Doesn't seem right. Well, the blue door is down all the way, grunt. Jeez. See right there, that's the blue door. Yeah, we're coming up and right there, see? It's the blue and why aren't we going through the blue door? Wait, what? Wait, what? Huh? Why are we in the blue league? Wait, why are we in a minor league locker room? Like at least stick it as a major league one. Wow, this 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 is weird. Hmm. Now for today's main event, the top dog, the Major League Recon's all going to throw down, tramp down, no one, the only Rock Hulk. First thing to ring, you fan of the nuclear reactor, Rock Hulk. A time like this, one time like Gorilla, because Gorilla seems to have a really strong southern accent all of a sudden. It's like a, almost a stereotypical strong southern accent. Let's see what's Who dog is? Champ, how are you feeling today, son? You're champion, so whoa, what the... Here, this is doing a handful of what? I can't read this dialogue so fast. Why am I pressing the A button so fast? Basically, he's trash and he goes. But the Rays on the last meet to the top of the major leagues faster than anybody ever. You're gonna throw faster than you do, champ. What are you gonna say about that? What do I have to say about that? <laughs> That's what. <clears throat> yeah, all because he wanted the major leagues faster than him. I was he just care. Okay, that's it. No base come first, man. Hear me? Let's go kick some tail. Oh, we some pink hunks let us lock in here. We're trapped in here. Yes, we are. It's a punk, not pink. Punk. Yeah. Now for our challenger, the mercy is executioner, the great gondola. Oh, he's not coming through. Well, hold the phone, folks. What the hell is going on? What happened to great Gonzalez? Har 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 har. I'll tell you what happened. Now he fears a rock. Oh, wee, that's a super fine development, folks. Great Gonzalez really turning me on for a head like this, a dog. I tell you what, folks, if he ain't doing show, he's gonna go be found for it. The match, yo. Okay, this ain't good. Yeah, with my mumbling and my really bad voices. Yep. Man, this is the worst record of forfeiter battery on Swap! Try this. I uh, won't let us try that. Let me see. Door's locked. How does Grunt know? It's he didn't read the contract. Anyway, there's a Princess Peach poster. We're supposed to take Flurry and blow it away. Gone with the wind. Okay, and we're gonna hop back on Grunt because we're not. We're only as strong as our Yoshi. Just random TV in here. I like to say a calendar on the wall by the TV. Okay, now we're in the Major League locker room. See, can we activate this? No, we can't. Door's still locked. Man, they did think of everything. Hmm. So here's this bathroom. Open it up. Wow, this is a like really big toilet seat. Oh, there's a key in there. I think there's an. Oh wait, what? Ew. 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 Oh my god. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Ooh. Okay, 
Let's see what I see what happens if you did this. Never done this before. Your match is not reserved. Your opponent will leave Rockhawk. Their primary has to leave you use at least one special move. Yeah. So Rockhawk will always be use a special move. Yeah. Let's see, go down here. I'm like, oh wait, no, and you go through the red door, not the blue door. Yeah, see these guys are like back it up, back it up. Okay, time to walk in. Why am I still talking my southern accent? Actually, that was my real accent right there, but still. <laughs> Why am I so tired? It's not even seven. Jeez. Yeah. It's pretty good to sleep last night. Yeah, we are stars, baby. Come on, let's get that big, giant, fat chicken. You rock, man. Yeah, the plumber, Gonzalez. You're late. You're late. Your face is late. Yeah, so, at the rock, the rock hawk socks. Yeah, we've been enough to rock the rock hawk socks, man. I'm so fired up. <laughs> har har har. You wimps should have stayed locked up safe and sound. What kind of trash talk is that are you doing now? I'm done with my job. Yeah, so, yeah, he um, apparently sent us the poison cake, which is a lie. So, it wasn't a robot. Like I thought, and he's not had nothing to do with the emails we got that weren't from X, and uh, he also locked us up in the room. We rocked! Yes, so use one special move. Let's start off with Earth Tremor. Okay, first, hey, perfect timing. Yeah, this guy has a uh, 40 HP, a bunch of different moves to do a bunch of different things. In the Japanese version, I believe he actually has a point of defense. I don't know, I'm not much of an export guy, but... Or import, as in I've never bought it import. <laughs> well, game import. Yeah, everyone's bought it import one of these days, but... Yeah. Not one of these days, but sometime in my life. Anyway, we're going to use a mini egg. I'm just sucking at this. Jeez. Cannot press the A button. <laughs> okay, and that's one attack that's four damage. That's one to be normally using. Yeah, this guy has a couple fa... He has, like, pseudo phases, I guess? his health gets down so he'll start doing different moves, yeah, you know, sort of, kind of. Okay, and let's do this. Do, 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 do. Ground pound. I really like the music. Come on, come flower, 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 no. Pfft. Yeah, but he likes going pfft. And then, time to rock. And this is uh, one of his stronger moves right there, just five damage. Okay. And uh, Flurry actually is somewhat useful for this fight at one point, but I prefer Yoshi uh, if you upgraded him to get Mini Egg. Oh, he's dizzy. Yeah. I don't know. I always find this joke, this fight to be kind of a joke. It, it, it's it's a build up, but it, the Koopinator is harder to beat than this guy. Especially if you use Mini Egg, like I've been using. If it's Mini Egg, makes a joke of some of these mini bosses like this. Yes, he is, in fact, a mini boss. Spoiler. Yeah. Yeah, so look, he's, he's pretty much already done, you know, he just, yeah, so him in the face of my Yoshi butt, you know, and then, yeah, just, just, uh, he was like, oh, man, you're gonna kind of knowing how dare you turn rock out, like a rock, blah, 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 anyway, this is a illegal move. Basically, you pull down a rafter, and he'll jump on and start pulling down, and stuff will fall down from the roof, and he'll do damage. Yeah, I think he actually can get health from up there. He'll pull down some like mushrooms, but um, at this point he'd be like, I think he has like low 10 health, so he just beat this guy fast. Yeah, but you need to knock him down. So if you don't have mini egg, you can use hammer throw. If you don't have that, you can use quake hammer. Don't have that, you can use flurry's body slam. Yeah. And yeah, none of the above, you're screwed. But yeah. Oh, you can also use a uh, earth tremor. Yeah, earth tremor can knock him down. You know, let's upgrade my badge points. And now we are level 10, meaning we are now a B-list star. Yeah, B-list. Yeah. So we're going to see our new next, our new stage in the next battle. Uh, folks, I feel like my eyes just popped in my head. We got ourselves a miracle. Technique versus technique. Raw power versus raw power. That's just superhumans. Folks, this was truly, honestly, without a doubt, no doubt, absolutely the most legendary, amazing, trouble time making bout of all time. Great Gonzalez, congratulations, Gonzalez, you're the tramp son. 
Give him a hand, folks, and the new Glitz Pit champ. Gonzalez, 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 Gonzalez. I think he says about a dozen times. Anyway, we're back here in the Major League locker room. And he's like, here's your belt. Yes, we earned after we beat Rockhawk. I'm going to go to the champ's room for us. Rockhawk's going to move back in here. I don't know why I'm talking my southern accent. I think I'm stressing this a little much. I mean, I should, but I think I can do a pretty decent Forrest Gump impression with this. See, if I lived in Nashville longer than I did, this would actually what would sound like. Yeah, I for some reason can't stop talking it right now. As Mama said, life is like a box of chocolates. Never know what we're going to get. Of course, I think a better quote for this time would be, Mama always said, stupid is, stupid does. See, I was in the All-American Ping Ball team. You know, and got, went to go see the president again. Gave me a medal again. Yeah, I was shot in the bug talks. Okay, anyway, uh, we got a, oh, there's voices coming from somewhere. This is, must be the ghost in the champ room, if you remember Bandit Andy. Bandit Andy. Yeah, he told us, uh, apparently there's a ghost in the champ room. It's coming from the um, vent up there. Okay, find the ghost in the champ's room, from X. Anyway, we're gonna, um, oh, we just leveled up, so. Yeah, I'm gonna save real quick. I'm like, never doing that again. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, sir. Okay, and do we need to heal up? That heal, this bed right here will heal up your star points. Very useful, but since I leveled up my after beat Rockhawk, I don't need to heal. Yep, so I'd never be enjoy the comfiness of that wooden bed, which looks totally uncomfortable. This room kind of ugly, you know, it's... Uh, I'm digging the Golden Game Boy, but hey, I don't know. We're in the duck right now. This is actually a duck in f above the storage room. And, ooh, voices. Hmm. Yuck, 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 yuck. Well, that's in perfect condition as usual. Yep, looks like I got that baby working for me. So I have to watch my tootsies here for a little bit. First, I like that King K. Idget walking on me when I was with that. Now I can't shake the feeling of Jolie eating Gonzalez around me. Well, I guess if we burn that bridge and that time comes, it's just disappearing. Yep, just like it did the others. Like it did the Prince most the first champ. So apparently Grubba is behind the missing fighters, and he has some sort of thing. Uh, and it's the clue to it is in the desk drawer. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. This is weird. So he might end up making us disappear soon. Hmm. Well, anyway, I'd say we bash down this vent and see what's what. And here, and he isn't in here. Oh. Hmm. Check out the desk drawer. Anyway, it's two desk drawers, if you haven't noticed. And one has a star piece in it. Very good. Pretty good, good. And here he has. Whoa, bingo. Check out Mario. Mario. Well, machine under the ring using crystal star. Those are blueprints. Um, shouldn't you say those are blueprints for a machine under the stage? Just saying. It just seems like a better, you know. Anyway, apparently you can suck the power of suck people's power and like make them young again. Hmm. Great goopling gooplets. Galap, galping gooplets. Yeah. How in tarnation? And the swap me, call me sassafras. Oh, he has a country accent, not a southern accent. I see how it is. Okay. Ooh. After Gonzalez, okay. Oh, I'm gonna do something a little weird. Most people are like WTF while you're doing this. Anyway, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna save before this, because this is the boss fight for chapter three, man. You're supposed to go through the red door like you did Rockhawk. This guy moved for you. I'm like, I want to go through the blue door. I never got to go through the blue door. I'm like, come on. So gonna go around, and be like, hey, blue door guy, I wanna go through. It's like, wait, oh, can't get to an official match. Like, what does the red guy say, though, if he lets me go through? You know? Hey, so let's go talk to the red guy. Like, what do you have to say? Or, like, I walk through, I'm like, hmm, oh, wait, wait. Wait, no, I should talk to the red guy. <laughs> red door guy, talk to me. Even though you're not red, you're blue. Mr. Grubba actually headed right here through a minute ago. He's a Wigan. 
So, yeah, he saw Grub Kill Career. I was. I never did that. Never see what he did. It's like my 15th time playing this game. Yeah, anyway, you can hop up here. Here's Grubba. You gotta say, you're all a couple of psych jawed idiots sniffing around my business. Now you know my big shit. I had to afraid I had to make him take a little old dirt nap. And then the stage opens up. And, uh, he goes down with it. Then up comes this giant weird machine. There's a crystal star on top. Yep. Gonzalez up there. That's the crystal star, right? Yes, it is. Young Padawan. Pretty nice dig, huh? Yep. Suck powers and fighters. But it's, uh, it's apparently, he's been sucking up. Um, like I said before, he sucks up the fighters' energy and keeps them young. And he's about to. Oh, shut your traps now. Use my crystal star pieces and. Yeah. The crystal stars. Yeah. Do you say crystal star pieces? Or I just think that that needs him to go bustle up. It's a really cool cutscene. It's like, you know, whoa, he gets all giant and he breaks and he's like, whoa, macho grubba. Mario's like, oh, we're screwed. Oh, we, I'm going to smoosh you guys and guacamole and snack on energy too. Apparently, we have a very nice calorie for energy output. Yeah. Okay. So now he, the, he's. Basically, but all the energy in the machine to this. Yeah, this guy has a 60 health. Basically, upgrade. He's an upgraded version of um, of Rockhawk. That's what I can really compare him to. He has 20 more health, and he also has same sort of the same idea of he has multiple moves and multiple attacks. But he does have one gimmick that's pretty much unique to him. Yeah. I'll see you guys in a minute. Yeah. See, there. Yeah, good. Good. Be lucky. He's right there. See, he has these power-ups he'll do. He casts, like, almost magic, and he does one. He normally start out one, but lets him use two moves per turn. Which, I don't think... He, I think he's the only guy who can do that. That or some magic who does I think he can do that, too. Yeah, we used mini egg on him. So, what he does normally do, he either makes himself, um... Makes himself, uh... uses basically repel cape on himself. He can charge his attacks and attack in the same turn. He can raise his defense. And then, um... Sometimes you'll let me think. Let me think. Uh, what says you do? And sometimes you'll attack twice in one turn. That's pretty rare, but normally he'll uh, see here. He uses dodgy. Yeah, and then he does his spin attack. He does a stomp attack. He'll attack one of you. Yeah, he also has a spin attack similar to similar to Rock Ox. Yeah. He needs ground pound. He only dodge you for one more turn. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, Yoshi's really good for this fight. Yoshi just, Yoshi's good for all fights. Except for a few fights. One fight in particular. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, see. And, okay, decrease the amount of damage you take. Yeah, see, you raise the defense by three. And then he is going to attack again. Yeah, you can sort of tell what he's going to do next. And he, um. Yeah. By what his poses he does, so let's use a uh, power, a piercing glow. Yeah, he's almost already halfway dead. He's, uh, let's use a mini egg again. Lowers attack. And do, do, uh, last one to work. Yeah. Okay, and he raises his attack by three. Yeah, but you can raise his attack and he can also charge his attacks. And I think he ends up doing almost six damage or something. Ooh, man, that really hurt. I was almost, I'll be seven if I didn't lower his attack. Yeah. Okay, and then um, it's always funny when he uses like multiple upgrades. Because then he'll go voop, 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 voop for each one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's use, a, let's use a honey syrup on Mario. Really should have stocked him in items for this. I really would recommend um, uh, Macho. What's it called? The, the drinky drink that raises your attack by two. I really suggest that. And also, here's his, basically a second phase. He'll grow a little bit. It's funny because he looks almost normal size now, even though I shrinked him with a um, yeah, mini egg. Yeah. And you'll start using a couple more stronger moves. So if he does that and you're really low in health, I suggest you heal up like using Speed Treat or something. Yeah. Yeah, probably really. Yeah, and this. Um, oh, I should really explain the new stage. So this is uh, the B-list star stage. It's really annoying because it always has these fog machines in the background, so you can't see them. 
But now you're, um, you're... Yeah, so you use charge and you raise the attack. So, no, no, you use charge and raise it by four, jeez. Yeah. That was his, um, Falcon Punch, I like to call it. Yeah. He's... Yeah. And the, uh, so the, uh, what do you think, what do you think? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, so before, the crowd can only go to 50, this time they can go to 100, so, like, see, I think that's 97 guys on the stadium, stage right now. So, yeah, you get a lot more star points a lot faster, which goes good, because, you know, you have a lot more star power to use, you know. Uh, a lot more chance of dropping items and throwing items and stuff, you know. Yeah. It has a new look to it. Yeah, I really like the stage idea. Yeah, so it, your stage changes every 10, 10 levels. Yeah. Okay, let's use a sweet treat so we can get some stuff back. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, man, I'm really horrible at dodging the poison mushroom. Yeah, I know the B list stage looks okay, but you just go through it so fast. You seem to be leveling up really fast in the next couple chapters. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's good. You know, five health for each and six power points. You, 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 let's use Gulp. That was total waste. Yeah, don't use any power point moves. And when the myth fog machines are on, yeah, it just uh, it was a total waste of four power points right there. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, let's use a Earth Tremor. Okay, let's see how, I, how big this, I can get this thing. Yeah. Okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty. Oh, there we go. It was a five. I know I managed to max this thing out, max this thing out like once or twice, and can never get it past five. Five is always pretty good, you know. Though there is one, um, one actually the special move we get next chapter, and yeah, people hate that one, but I love it. I always get really high in that one. Yeah, I always end up doing like almost twelve damage with it. People are like, no, no, this one sucks. I'm like, I know what you guys are talking about. Love that move. Yeah. Okay, let's use a normal hammer on this guy. Looks like we have to finish him off with, be able to finish him off with Yoshi. Okay, so let's hit that R right trigger. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. And we finish him off with Yoshi butt. Yes, you got to beat by Yoshi butt. Because he is Yoshi. Feel the blood rage, or egg rage. Feel the egg rage. Yeah. Rod doesn't need shields. He has eggs. Or that's not what's like I said, eggs in or aids. <laughs> anyway, we got double star points. Yay! We got 60 star points for one fight. Yeah, I totally should have screamed and shouted like a small girl was busy talking about Yoshi aids. Yep. Er, Mr. Champion. Yeah, that's me. Jolene. No, I mean Mario. Please allow me to offer my ears. Ernest, thanks for defeating Grubba. So, looks like she knew what um, Grubba was doing. And he, she's been trying to help us get along and figure it out. So, but, see, she had a younger brother called um, Prince Mush. And basically, they lived in a poor family. And Mush went on to become a fighter to help, you know, bring some money into the family. And, uh... Prince Mush disappeared, and so then she became, and she thought he disappeared here, so she became the secretary for, um, Grubba, and he saw, she saw him transform one night, like some werewolf, and then she was like, okay, that's where my brother is, and she just waited for a competent fighter to come along and, you know, help her beat him, so that was us, and she was the ex-buddy who kept on telling us what to do, yeah, so now he's like... Prince Mush, hey, hey, discover the secret of my power sucking machine. I had him uh, disappear. Anyway, you look at it, uh, he ain't around these parts no more. I mean, Grobus, like, he's just laying there, <laughs> he's tail switching. Yeah, so, oh, there's Prince Mush. Yeah, she was just worried about her brother, you know, and reached out too hard on us because she wanted to make sure we we're dedicated to this, to find Crystal Star and help. And there's the stars are so spinning, and out comes a toad. Looks just like Jolene, except for a boyish and short. 
Whoa, this is like, am I back of a glitz pit? Whoa, man. Mush! Uh, is that really you, Seus? What are you doing here, man? You see in the sky. Die. You see in the sky. Hey, I'll stop now. Uh, Mario, the crystal star is yours. Yes, the crystal star is mine. So it brought back Prince Mush. So the last thing he does in Grubba's machine and it is now ours. Errors. Who's? How would Canadians say it? This must be ours. Now ours. It's now ours. You got a crystal star! Yay! So we have. Um, it's now at. Our power level is now at four, and we learned power lift. Yes. Power lift, um, it's pretty useful. I'll show that off at some point. Yeah, I really like it. It's it's pretty good for bosses, too. With mini egg and power lift, you can destroy anything. So, we uh, helped find a dangerous steer, a dangerous conspiracy, involving us, Jolene and Mr. Grubba. And then we defeated Grubba, and we turned off the power draining machine, got the crystal star. And we're like, what kind of magical thing can Crystal Stars do? Because you know, like they totally brought back Prince Mush. Yeah. And then we fade to white. Then there's Mario. Blink, blink. Yeah, that was like a really bad part of the game. I totally disoriented through by singing Beatles. Well then, tell what you're up to. You still haven't taken care of that Mario character. Well, yes, sir, but only because he's tough than we thought at first. You don't understand that we have nice thoughts. We know the door first, do you not? Me? <laughs> well, we're sure that we definitely not nail him. We definitely nail him just this time. We prepared the perfect weapon. Wait, what? I trust your word, though I have to lose my patience. Let's leave the sire. Me? <laughs> That's the way, my lovies, Marilyn and Vivian. Oh, God. Mm -mm. Dot dot dot. Yeah. Then Mario's head. Mario's head. Okay. What kind of adventure do we have for? Oh, she's officially bored. Well, excuse me, princess. I'm sorry, my commentary is half-assed, but still, that must be tech again. Yep. Um, it's probably tech, or some other person opening the door, or the door can be malfunctioning. Or there could be a fire, and they're trying to let you out so you don't die, and the door's opening. You know, there's maybe an automated door system. Or they could be opening the door to let the gas in, they're trying to knock you out or something, you know. What is it this time, Tech? I apologize, but I would like to go to the work services and ask him something. What? What do you want? What do you mean? Go ask him. I recently obtained specific information and brought on. Issue to my attention and brought and not on. I'm a stupid computer and I can't talk proper English. Proper English. I am unable to know things that are not enter entered into my CPU. See, I'm not a tablet. I can't do everything you want me to because that's a PS3. According to PS3 commercials. Though, one thing PS3 can't do is play Halo. Just saying. It's just, just, you know, don't mean it as a negative thing, I'm just saying, off the top of my head, you can't play Halo on a PS3, you know, just saying. So, we have to go take Peach, uh, you imagine correctly. So we have to go see Sir Grotus and ask him something, but we can't do it as Peach, so apparently it's going to get very complicated. Complicated! He sure is a weird computer! Yes, he is Peach. Let me go in. Yes, let's go in. Okay, go up. And up. And... We stop. Please wait just a moment there. Currently soldiers in the vicinity. Huh? The soldiers in the vicinity. It's... Huh? Glad that glass, you know, tinted. Won't be able to... You know, the soldier totally could have, you know, looked to the right of him and saw Peach. Like, how would you get out of your room? Back to your room. Make me a sandwich. Oh, you know, that's the kitchen. Go to the kitchen, make me a sandwich, and back to your room. What are you doing out of your cage? Anyway, um, one of these lockers has a soldier's uniform. Oh, there it is. Let's go see. I never got to see what's in the rest of these lockers. No, no, nothing. Just take the soldier uniform. Let's wear the ugly soldier uniform. 
And we uh, hop in here, and once again we take her clothes off, because, you know, won't be a peach, peach thing about her, you know. Feeling the breeze. <laughs> she can barely breathe in this thing, and I can see Peach can totally fit in that thing, and, you know, she hunched over. Oh, looking sexy catwalk. Come on. Sexy board the cat. Oh, just said that. I can't remember where the line goes. Yeah. Hey, Slacker, what part? Oh, you're kidding me. I, I seriously just finished voicing the whole episode, and then for some reason the dialogue ended up, well, my monologue, not the dialogue, ended up right there. Seriously. Oh my god. Ugh. I had to listen to myself talk. I'm like, no, you sound like an idiot, you idiot. Anyway, we're gonna walk around here in Grotus's room. Uh, I'm just gonna totally just skim through this now. Yep. That, that, you, you really you lost my great, horribly horrible commentation of horribleness. Yeah, you can totally hear my computer, you know, in the background with the very horribleness of horribleness of these episodes. Oh well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Talking herself to third person. It's kind of weird, Princess Peach, and he's onto us. Oh no, perhaps I have throat lozenge. Yeah. No. Well, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach. Uh, what about her? Oh, let me think. Let me think. I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room, and you know, make her, make her, make her, make, make sandwiches, sandwiches. So why are we keeping her then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impudent worm. I totally messed it up the first time I said that. Yes. We excellent seen the treasure to conquer the world. That one, the world. I think I said the world. The, the conquer the world. It's not. It, are you slow? Hmm. Something's odd about you. You're more mentally challenged than the rest of my guys. Man, last time you go to Craigslist to find some henchmen. Jeez. Oh, that was unnerving. Your face was unnerving. The talk the world talk about creepy. Okay. We go here. Take this off again. Well, take that off the first time. Put that back on again. Since it's like the sixth time you took your clothes off, jeez, Peach. About to say something right there, but I didn't. Okay, in here. Tech, you terrible machine. Your goal is to conquer the world, is it? No, uh, no. Nope. <laughs> of course, after all, it was built for this purpose. Conquering the world, how could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? Well, um, there are any problems in the world, but many sorrows. And do you like such a world? Well, of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. But to say something right there, but I wouldn't. Um, is that so? Is that so? Tell me, with the crystal stars, are you collecting the world? And what's with this treasure? I'm afraid I cannot answer. Answering this question is provided by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for world domination. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. It, it, send it this... It's tech. Jeez. Such a bipolar weirdo. Message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you have a busy day. You had a busy day. Please go back to the room. Uh, okay. Wait, do we do we even get the answer? Tech wanted. It is. Do you even ask? Just just think about that. Okay, we walk in there. Asking, he wants us to ask him what we need Princess Peach for. Okay. She goes in there and she asks. He tells her it's none of her business. She comes in and. And accuses him of trying to take over the world. Yeah. Um, this guy is keeping me alive, Princess. Probably want to attack. She's. This is her point. You just totally endangered alive for absolutely no reason. Oh, stupid cheating Mario. Let's see, I think this actually has different dialogue if um, if you actually lose the Bowser it glitz, it glitz it, it, you aren't required to beat him actually yeah, like I did my first playthrough what I actually had to take 20 I think it was either I totally bombed the fight or I had to take 20 HP worth of damage before I win to get some magic Koopas which just totally sucks you get that if you try before the fight with Bowser and I'm trying to talk to these punies yeah he's, this guy is big and bad he's large and in charge you call me fat eek flee don't eat me I see these two, uh, Petunia and 
her brother or whatever his name is. Yeah, Petunia and Punio. Yeah. It should remind me a lot of the, the brother and sister from Serenity. Or Firefly. Be gone! You're one of them, aren't you? One of those evildoers. Well, our crystal star. I oh, see, I knew it. This ugly thing knows what a crystal star is. Tell us. Pal rude! Ugly thing, how dare you? And you wretched crone, I'm the great puny elder. Eep, my heart, don't start me like that. I do all for this stuff. Shift happens. Yeah. <laughs> it's Hag versus Hag. Awesome. <laughs> dot dot dot. Ahem, yes, Lord Bowser, it looks like he's about to just die. You know, dying to say something. Nope, nope, nothing. Let's move on, shall we? You, a hag, elder thing. Where's this crystal star? And don't try pulling rank on me. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. You get killed by a wet noodle or slapped by a pancake. Um, hag thing, honestly, in any case, you're too late. This crystal star is gone. What? A mustachioed man named Mario. He said something he's going to collect legendary treasure to rescue some princess. What did he call her? Princess Pinch. Yep, he was off to save that lucky lass. It's Mario, not Martio. It is not Princess Pinch, and her name is Princess Peach. But your senility is based the, beside the point. I love this dialogue. There. Yeah, so. This is greed never. It never end. That jackal, both Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars, belong to me. To me! I'll find him. We're going to finish him off. But once and for all, I swear it. Yep. I love Bowser, the Bowser sequences so much. Save over game to this point. Yes, I would love to. Progress was saved. Your face was saved. And then flip, 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 flip. So now you must leave. Yep. I understand. You won't us. Okay, so won't let you won't delay us. And you know, Rockhawk's like, yeah, I'm gonna hit the weights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square, because I have nobody to take it from. Just saying. That nice dude I ever met. Well, obviously he never met my buddy Grunt here because he has the egg rage. <laughs> Actually, Grunt was a very nice person in my aspect too. Yeah. He had a habit of trying to rip Turian's heads off. You know, you do something like... That explains how to like, rip a Turian's, you know, upper part of the skull off or something in like one movement. Sweetener Crystal Star, that's three, right? Better roll back to Rogue Port. Yeah, obviously you learned how to count. Yep, so enough for this episode. See you guys in Chapter 4. Halfway through the game. Halfway through the game. Yep, I'm repeating myself again. See you guys next time. Chapter 